Welcome to your Daily Five for Monday, December 4th, 2023. I was listening to, well, now it would be the second most recent episode of This Week in Tech over on the Twit Network. And I'll link to the show here so you can, if you're so inclined, you can go listen to it. And it was a panel of different people and one of the conversations that they were having, because of course there has to be some kind of Elon Musk meltdown every week at this point, doesn't there? But anyway, they were talking about the continuing decline of Twitter and based on some of the things Musk has done very recently, what might be a real tipping point for the service not existing in six months to a year. But in any event, one of the things they were talking about was that what they valued or what many of them valued was the community aspect of Twitter. Uh, basically, the, the top two things they seem to be missing from other platforms that have tried to be a Twitter replacement or alternative is the breaking news aspect, where Twitter used to be a place you would go for breaking news. And the other side of it was the communities that they had built. And I believe it was, I think it was Father Robert Balasser who had talked about the fact that that's not something that happened right away with Twitter. That took... I think he said almost 10 years before it really got to the point where people had these active and really engaged communities. And then he also said that he really wasn't willing to put the effort in to trying to rebuild those communities on other platforms, whether it was Mastodon, Blue Sky, Threads, I'm sure I'm missing some. And that was, I, I, that really struck me as odd because, I mean, the news part, I, I don't know how you really recreate that. You have to, the platforms will have to have news bureaus and people reporting, and that just kind of organically grows by itself. You don't really have to, you don't have to do anything for that. You don't curate that really. That just happens. But the other side of it, the community side, that is something that is going to require some work. And if in fact that is something, and I think most of the hosts on that show said that they did miss that aspect of Twitter, because of course now it's been completely destroyed. I mean, I barely even, I, I, I am going to start just whittling down my followers, the, the, anybody that I follow on there that I'm following on another platform. I gave up on Mastodon. I'm just on Blue Sky now because I... Honestly, the conversation on Blue Sky is more like what I liked out of Twitter. It's more arty and cartoony and comic book based than Mastodon, which feels more journalist oriented or more just feels like a, a bit of a different thing. Not necessarily bad, just not really for me. But I am putting in that effort to, you know, I keep an eye on the people on Twitter. And when they move over to Blue Sky, then I start following them there. And I am putting in that effort because that is something I miss, too. You know, I... It, it, on the one hand, Twitter does still exist as a direct communication line for some people. It's the only one I've got in some cases, so I have to keep the accounts open. But on the other, I do, you know, I, I go in there maybe once a week now on Twitter and just look, and it's just, it is a dead zone. There's nothing to it. Barely any posts from actual people, junky, crappy ads. I mean, it really is nothing like it was even a couple of years ago, and that's too bad, but... I'm not going to not make the effort to try to have that experience somewhere else because I do value it. I get interesting ideas from people that, you know, post random things. There's a lot of funny stuff that people post still. I mean, I know some people use Instagram or TikTok for that. Well, I'm not as big on those platforms, so I'm sticking with Blue Sky for this stuff. But it is odd to me that people who are who are lamenting the loss of those communities on Twitter are also saying they're not going to put the work in to try to recreate them. Because the thing is, it doesn't mean it's just going to be the same thing again. It might actually be something better. Maybe the experience of Twitter uh, imploding, whatever term you want to use, will make the communities built somewhere else better communities because people will see how it can go wrong and people will be more appreciative of that thing that they took for granted for a while. I mean, it's a hope. I don't know. But I don't know. I, for me, I don't want to just give up on the idea of it. I mean, I'm certainly not a very, it's not like I post every hour on anything and post every even every day on stuff, but I still interact here and there and I do have a value for that. And I do want to try to preserve it as much as possible. But again, the stranger thing to me was people who seem to really value a particular aspect of what Twitter used to provide, not being willing to try to recapture some of that somewhere else. I mean, again, it may not be a duplicate of it, but you could probably, I've got, I've followed a lot of people now on blue sky that used to be on Twitter. And I see a lot of the same people posting the things I enjoyed hearing from them when they were on Twitter. And it, it is now basically I know it's not a total Twitter replacement, but for me, it's doing most of it. So if I can do that with not much effort, you would think other people could too. So and like I said, it's just odd. But here's the question, anybody listening, if you were on Twitter and you're not anymore, are you bothering with anything else? Or have you also just given up on this idea? Let me know. Later.